You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this first clip, you're going to watch 2011 point guard Margot Dupuy uh, start to work through some of the drills. You actually see Callie Smith in there, 2013 grad, working out with her. Actually setting screens here. What we're working on is, first of all, for her to be able to get in. You see her try to turn the corner, assume the defense takes it away, stretch the floor by backing up a couple of steps to give her a little bit of room to make the pass, or to be able to come back and counter, as you're going to see right here. Stretches, the roll isn't there. She immediately counters, catches her girl reaching, comes and knocks down that free throw line jumper. And then we come back right away right here. You actually can see National Director of Scouting, Kyle Moore, also in the picture there, evaluating Margot's play. She hits Smith on the roll with the layup for the basket. When we kind of break that down, we're going to go through a lot of different drills inside of this particular workout. So stay posted. Introducing Margot Dupuy. You're going to see in this drill, she actually is catching and shooting the basketball now. We're going to come back to some of that. Pick and roll stuff here, run a little bit, actually turn it from the other side. We're also going to get some penetrating pitch action off of a look. We'll also get a, a high post feed there to the, to the free throw line. So now you're watching her actually catching and shooting. You can see her ability to knock down the open shot, catching and shooting. We'll get some threes up here in a little while, and we'll get some stuff off the bounce. So full workout, full of uh, clips in, in terms of what we were able to get done. She actually came over, as you can see, from Texas I actually live about 15 miles away from Alexia Standish, who's going to Texas A&M, has been over a couple of times to work out. So good to, good to have her over. And she had gotten some, some feedback from, from Standish before she got there in terms of some of the things we were doing. So we're actually able to advance what we were doing a little bit more than what we can normally get into. You see her right now actually changing her footwork. This is something that is, in terms of, of what we do normally, not something that we teach, but I really, really like the fact that she could get her inside foot, change it right or change it left, and actually be able to do it off the spot. Still be able to knock it down at a real high percentage. It didn't affect her shot at all. I uh, was able to knock it down. We talked about getting her elbow underneath, getting her elbow up on her shot, making sure that she doesn't fade on her shot. But as you can see, she's really, really consistent walking in the door. Now you're going to see us turn it and go the other way. That same stretch with a counter coming back to knock it down. You see her ball skill, just the ability to handle it with both hands. Turn, come off the screen, make the read. You see her pass it with both hands. You get some more of that inside both the penetrating pitch action that we'll get here in a little bit and inside of the excuse me, inside of the off dribble work that we'll also get done here. You can see her once again reading. Coming off the of Smith, read it, stretch it, come back with a quick counter and then knock it down. I was just really, really impressed with her overall ability to make shots at a high percentage. You know, most of the time as you're introducing new drills, tweaking things, stopping, cutting clips, doing things like that, you find kids have a hard time inside of all that teaching still being able to knock shots down, which is the name of the game on the offensive end. And you can see her be able to do that, but also a good enough handle and a good enough pass where she's going to be able to facilitate the action, get her teammates involved, get the offense rolling, in addition to the ability to knock down the open shot when need be. Now you're going to see her get some shots off the move here, just catching and shooting. You're actually going to watch her feet here, inside foot plant. Turn, get fully squared, be able to knock it down. Now we're going to the baseline, same thing. Inside foot, turn, square, knock it down. Shot smooth, as you can see, we're still in the mid-range right now. Just trying to be consistent, continue to work on that, that elbow, and then also not fading back on her shot. She gets the ball out quickly, gets the ball out smooth and really consistent. Now you're going to see a move to the three-point line. You see that first one go down. Now, the thing that we really like, a lot of times uh, one of our camp directors, Jonathan Hemingway, talks about is a nice high 1-1 one, one second follow-through. You're going to see it right here. She gets locked in. Ball gets out. Elbow extended. Locked in. Like we said, when she doesn't fade, is able to stay in on a shot. She's as good a shooter as anybody we've had come inside the factory. You're going to see her now putting the ball off the floor. One bounce to be able to knock it down. You'll see her come in inside foot, turn square it. Quick bounce to her right hand, knock down. Now this time we're going the other way. Plant left, come back to her left hand, knock it down. Once again, I can't stress enough how difficult it is for kids when they come in normally to be able to get 
the amount of drills that we've thrown her way. You know, we talked through eight, nine different types of drills during the course of, of her time in there with a lot of instruction built in. And so for a kid to be able to pick it up in an hour and a half, obviously she's a great student. You know, four, four, nine on the five O scale, along with the 1700 plus three part SAT. Uh, so she gets it in the classroom. So it, it was easy for, for her to step right in and get it on the floor. Right. Here's some of that penetrating pick, pitch action we talked about. Good left-handed pass. You saw where they're passing it. Actually, to Stephen Peck, one of our uh, evaluators, does some stuff on four fours two inside the factory on Sundays at Bogan, uh, catching it. Quick rip through, attack the middle with one bounce and be able to knock the jumper down. This last year, you're going to see her actually attack it as she picks it up. She actually is going to come back and attack the middle here, give us a ball fake, and then feed Steve, come right off Steve and be in a position to shoot the basketball. And one of the things we wanted to talk about was setting the table offensively. You saw that with the penetrating pitch going to the left, being able to get the ball back. Obviously, a lot of times she'd reverse the basketball, but she scored for the, what we were doing. Same thing here. Good high post feed, comes right off of it, little handoff, catch, and then be able to knock the basketball down for the jump. Good. 